What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time, but we're finally back. I am getting a schedule down to make sure that I can do these for you guys. I wanted to step away. I told a bunch of people I was stepping away, but it's just not in me to step away when I got to educate you guys on a bunch of cards and stuff like that. And be honest, I like doing this. Also, moving forward, we're going to have another game on this channel called Merge Arena. You'll see the first video for that probably tonight after this video drops. So keep your eyes out for that. It's a really fun game. I'll get into it when I get into that game. However, tonight we are looking at Roman Reigns, Rockin' Reigns. A lot of people got him for free last month. For some reason, he was one of the easiest cards to pull from a box. It's what I got him from, at least. So if you have him, he's a lot of fun. Roman has two very distinct builds. One build, which is the first one I'm going to show you, is his triple green. We have a spear. It deals 178,000 damage and make 25 random gems into crossbreak gems. The hardcore portion is where it gets fun. If opponent's class is an acrobat, first deal 223,000 damage and force your opponent to skip their turn for one turn. If you're like me with class advantage, clearly this is the way we go. We always go for acrobat when we're running this build. Our scoop power slam. We're going to deal 196. 1,533 damage and increase the damage of all your gems by 55%, which is pretty decent. It's not bad. It's not great. It's it's somewhere in the middle there. Personally, I feel like if this was around 75%, it may hold a little, it might hold a lot more water if it was up there, but his plate does kind of make up that difference. So, you know, beggars can't be choosers with that one. The Samoan drop is our third move. We're doing 208,000 damage plus 84,866 bonus damage for every cross break. The only problem I really have with this particular move and this particular move set is as of right now, there's only one coach for cross breaks. And to be honest, 25% increased is kind of garbage. But with all the new trainers and everything coming out, hopefully something new will pop up. Uh... The other thing that does help is obviously Bianca, but I was saying coach, not trainer, two very distinct things. So we're going to throw that on there like that. So if you have Bianca, fantastic. You're like me. You were blessed that month. Bianca is going to make crossbreak gems do 75% more damage, plus give two move points to green moves. Her combined with zombie Cena allows for a 100% increase on the crossbreak, which is what you really want. That's where the damage is going to come out of. Yes, he's blowing up the board. Yes, it's fantastic. But ultimately, that damage is kind of meh. It's lackluster at best. Um, I wish I could show you his full potential. However, as most things go with our plate parts, I kind of killed off all my plate parts before I got the Roman Reigns uh, plate. But we'll still look at it regardless. On his belt, I have a full Fury 2, 200% green move damage increase. So we're looking across the board, our lowest being purple at 148%. The rest, not too shabby. I threw on the King Seamus plate because it makes the most sense whenever you make four more crossbreak gems. Increase your red gem damage by 150% since we're a powerhouse that helps. And your green move damage by 50%. Again, triple green, rocking those modes. If you have Sheik plate, Sheik plate does well on this too. Um, the, the worst thing that comes from this move set alone is recycle. So really, if you don't have King Seamus's crown and you really don't want to use it, if you have it, I mean, you have probably have it on somebody else, then go with an MP plate. There's I've got plenty here. This is just me personally. But, you know, is go with something like pray in the night break any or any color that you break giving green MP helps out tenfold. Same thing with the glowing phantom power plate. This is available on the prize wall. So if you have the one medallion from doing the talent up, like most usually do, go for that. If that's gonna that's gonna help. Same thing with heavy mechanations. Same exact or same exact place of prize wall. You can get them there. Very 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 worth the investment. His plate, which I really am truly regretting not having on him right at this moment, is the shades of rains. Whenever you make seven or more crossbreak gems, increase all your gem and move damage by 100% for one turn. The reason why I want these plates together is it's an additional 150%. Excuse me, I clicked on the wrong one there. Um, it's an additional 150% to your move damage combined off the first move. Yes, we're not getting that much value off the first move, but it's the move damage right here that makes a huge impact on this. 
giving all the other gems another 100% on top of the 55%, 155% increase to the gems. Beautiful. So we, like I said before, he has two movesets. We're going to show off this first one. We're going to go up against LWO Eddie here, our same normal punching bag. I kind of got tired of beating up on uh, Trick Sammy. I was testing out a couple of cards on Trick Sammy the last few days, and I just got really sick and tired of whooping on his butt. All right, so we have our spear now that's triggered our plate. We are now at 662,000. We're at 701,000 here. We're going to increase our gem damage here. That 150% is going to do a whole hell of a lot better. We're going to do our nice spear, dropping him down 4 million, which isn't too bad. But see, here comes the problem. We've got five greens across the board, and it's eight to charge these. So we'll be extremely lucky if we get another match off this Cascade. I, I really think that Eddie's not going to kick out of this, but there is that possibility that he will. And it looks like he's not going to. Perfect. But you saw right there, the three moves weren't ready to go again. It's kind of a kick in the teeth. Um, you know, I really wish that was a little bit better on the recharge. However, I'm looking at his triple green with both plates as a you do not need, you do not need to recycle. Um, I'm hoping this is, this is all theoretical right now. I'm sure there's other videos out there that show Roman with his plate and the Seamus crown. I haven't looked, but maybe you will. Um, to see that damage and really I think it's just going to make it astronomically better so what we're going to do now is we're going to switch on over to the one that I think hold, holds the most water and does the most damage but is finicky in a lot of ways so when this when he originally was released Roman was looked at as triple red the triple red being our shoulder block, we're going to deal 670k damage, beautiful, beautiful base damage right there, and choose a 5 by one area to make into pyro gems, which will modify all gems above it into cross break, or X break gems, excuse me, X break gems, when broken by you. That obviously is going to come, or combine with the Samoan Splash, deal 580,666 damage, again, beautiful base damage, and choose a 5 by one area to swap into red gems. The problem here is the Superman Punch. It's our finisher. We deal 714,000 damage plus 89,000 bonus damage for every X-Break gem and pin the opponent. The reason I do not like this setup, out of the nine to 10 different tries I did with this to make this work, three of them I was able to not blow up the entire board after hitting the Samoan Splash. Then when the Superman punch hit, it was done, 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 and done. There was no question about it. The damage from that was phenomenal. I just didn't like the fact that I couldn't do all three in one shot. So we switched over to this build. It has now become far more prominent. It is now a lot more, it's a lot better in my opinion. And this is it. Sorry. The Lariat takedown ultimately holds no sway over my judgment or anything else. It is possible to use this with the spear and either the Samoan drop or the scoop power slam. So that way you are guaranteeing that you have the recycle. The reason why I prefer the triple green over having the Lariat takedown in there is because it synergizes with the plates. If you choose to go down this route, by all means, do so. I, I don't disregard it in anything. I just feel like it's missing something every single time. It's like, it's like when I use it, I feel like I'm I'm not using him to his full potential. And that's solely because you either get rid of the cross break damage bonus or you get rid of the scoop power slam. I don't like getting rid of either one of those, but this is entirely up to you. If you have them, this is your build. You go for it. I just personally don't like this. It's the same reason why I don't like using the Superman punch. However, we're going to move forward with this. It's our leaping clothesline. We're going to deal 53,000 damage. Eh, mediocre and increase your red move damage by 100%. That is insane. If you have a 200% either Fury 2 or Take Down 2 Metal, either one, they work very, very well with this, increasing these to the millions. I cannot tell you how often I really enjoyed seeing these skyrocket in that time. 
if I didn't have his plate and the Seamus plate, most likely I would be running this and have a 200% right here, keeping it in the full Fury 2 area because you are blowing up the board. My personal opinion, you guys do with it with what you will. In regards to trainers, it all comes down to the basic stuff. It's going to come down to Butch there, Showboat Finn there. We will do... I understand not everyone has these. These are just how I rock it. You rock it how you see fit with your roster. I personally go with Omos for the 100% cross break dam or X break damage. So that's increasing 25, 25 or 30, 30 different gems. I'm going to go with the 30. It goes, it's giving 100% increased damage to 30 extra gems. Out of 49 gems, I will take that death visit. And then I go with Chelsea because one, I have her. Two, I enjoy using her. However, you can go with, let's scroll real quick. For red moves, you can go with red move damage increase, which is not a problem. I mean, you've got whoever this guy, Dawkins. There we go. And you have Dawkins that you can throw on there. You've got Trick Snoop that you can throw on there. The finisher obviously isn't going to matter there. Let's see. There's got to be one other one that does red moves, and I probably missed it. No. No, I, I may not have it. But either way, you have, tri or you have Trick Snoop. You have multiple options to go and throw on him just to make sure that this move damage is increased. I don't see an issue one way or another of you increasing that. I will say this, that moving forward for Fuse, if he is not in the middle line with the plus one to all MP, or there isn't a line that says plus one to red MP, or blue MP, sorry, blue MP, you're going to want to switch out Omos or Chelsea or whoever move damage you put into these slots. You're going to want to switch it out for Santa Hogan, given that plus one MP. It is going to help because you want the leaping clothesline to go off before the shoulder block and the Samoan splash. All right, so we have everything set up. Let's hop in here and do our final match of the video. I really like Roman. Roman does a lot of work, and I never thought I'd actually say this about a Roman card. Two very distinct builds. Two very strong builds, especially for the current meta that is our feud perks. Uh, the one for this weekend is negative green. So if you have Roman as your main, you can switch over to this build. The first time, uh, this is fucking ridiculous. Either way, we're going to do it again. If this happens to you, this is what I prefer to do. I prefer just to do it again. Get in a few extra million damage. I mean, hell, his health is already halfway down. And there goes some of the board. He ain't kicking out. He ain't doing it. Let's do it one more time. I just want to have fun one more time because I didn't look at the move damage. You can clearly see from all the damage that was done up here because I did fix my camera to where you can see the health bars. Uh, you can see that he does very, very good move damage. I, I like it. I really do like it. Like I said, I'd be rocking this if I didn't have both of the plates. Okay, so we're starting this off with 1.4 mil and 1.2 mil. We're going to hit this. Clearly, there's no animation. Now we're at 2.8 and 2.4. These do go up to 6 mil. If you have 200% on these, or 200% red, 200 red move, it does go up. I promise you this. It goes up to an insane amount where it two shot, or where basically both moves kill off a five, or a six star bronze. He is a sweeper, the likes of which sweepers should be made from. Are you really going to kick out? Oh, wow. Way to go, Eddie. You actually did something with your piss poor life in this game. I am to you good job now pin me so i can knock you out i would appreciate that greatly thank you i'm gonna take this because you missed it all right now i'm gonna smack you around again leaping clothesline with no animation and let's see if it'll blow up the board one more time I'm sure there's a way you can do this with a triple red where you're not blowing up the board every time, but I haven't found the way. So if you find the way, muscle top. You haven't, you're just like me. All right, guys. So that is the video for Rockin' Reigns. 
Again, a very good card. If you wind up being able to be within reach of this card because you don't have him currently, by all means, try and get him. Don't be like me. Don't, don't shun away the shards on the prize walls. Sometimes those shards add up very quickly, and sometimes they don't. So that's our video for Roman Reigns, Rock and Reigns. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm going to leave you the same way I've always left you. Life can be fun if you allow it to be. We'll see you in the next video.